Welcome to another video from Digital Dovetail. In this video, you're going to learn how to scan a drawing you've done, email it, download it, and then import it into Tinkercad. Open up the lid and place your drawing face down on the glass and close the lid. Log on to the photocopier. It'll probably come up with copier. Click on Scanner. Click on Scan Settings and change it to black and white text. Press OK. Click on send file type name, change that to single page tiff slash jpeg and press OK. Email manual entry and enter your school email address. Then press start. When it's finished, press the hash key. OK, once you've scanned your drawing and you've emailed it to your Gmail, go into your Gmail account. Open up your spam folder. It probably won't be in your inbox, it'll be in spam. So open up the email and download the file. Go into your downloads. It'll be something that looks something like this. Open it up. Now from here you might want to tidy it up a little bit. It might might be imperfect. So in my case I'm going to go open with paint. And from there I can fix it up. I can get rid of any extra bits and I can also tidy up some of the lines. Now I've already done one of these, prepared one and got it done. You can also, if you don't have paint, you can use this program, online program, Pixlr. So just type in P-I-X-L-R, open it up. It'll be this photo editor. Launch web app. And then you can do it in there as well. You can import it into there. Right, before we go into our uh, Tinkercad, we have to convert this uh, image into an SVG or scalable vector graphics. So we're going to go back to Chrome. Go into Google, convert to SVG. If you type in convert to SVG, this will be your first hit. Choose a file. Mine's in pictures. Already prepared it. There it is there. Stormtrooper scan fixed. Open. Convert file. That's done it pretty quick. Now it's downloading it. I'll go to my downloads. There it is there. That's come up really well. And that is an SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. Now in Tinkercad, create a new design. Import. Choose a file. Some downloads. Should be that one there. Stormtrooper scan fixed. Downloads open. There it is there. It's an SVG. Import. Now that's enormous. Now I'm going to scroll out with the mouse wheel. Hold down the shift key and make it heap smaller. I'm going to move it onto the work plane. Zoom in with the mouse, scroll with the mouse wheel. Make it smaller again. Scroll in. Right mouse click, rotate it around. I can also rotate it on here as well. Whoops, that's the wrong one. That one there. 
to 90 degrees. Trying to move that, won't do it. Okay. Now I'm going to make that a bit smaller still. But I might lengthen it, I'll zoom in. Now if you hold down the, sh the right mouse and the shift key, shift first, you can move it. So hold down the shift key first, then the right mouse, and you can move around. Whereas if you just do the right mouse, you can rotate and turn around and change your view. Right, I'm just going to lift that up, make it thicker. Take that up to 3mm. I'll just make a platform for it. Take that down to maybe 12. That was on 12 millimeters. Now we're going to get this one, I'm going to lift it up 12. So on this cone, this red cone, set 12. Now that's at the same height. I can bring that and put that on top. We'll just change our proportions. Looks fine. Now you can also, instead of having sharp corners, you could round the corners. So I'm going to bring it around over a cylinder. I am going to change the size of that to 10 by 10. So I'll do the shift key. Lift it up. I'll do two of them, I'll do that corner and this corner. Control C, Control V, now I've got two of them. I'll get them down to the right size in a minute. Now so that I can round the corners first, I have to delete part of this corner. So I'm gonna change this, that had a, a radius of five, so I'm gonna make this a cube five. But I'll make it higher. So whatever the radius of the circle is, that's the size of what the cube needs to be. Well, this is a rectangular prism. Right, let's go Control C, Control V. And move that into the corner. And I can move this with my arrow keys. I'm going to zoom in a bit. That's too far. So that's pretty much perfect. Make that a hole. Group, hold down the shift key and click on that as well. Group them. Now, that, now that's gone. So I'll do the same with this one. Make it active. Now that's perfectly in line. I'll undo that change. That's in line. Click on that, make it a hole. Click on the body. Group. Now I can proceed to move these into place. That's perfectly in line. I'll drop that down to 12. I'll do the same with this one. Bring it across. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard. 
get it online. That's right. Click on it, active, make it a whole, group it. Oops, wrong one. I wasn't supposed to make it a whole. I was just supposed to group it. So we'll change it back to a color. We'll bring it down to size and group it. Change the color on that to red. And that's how you can round the corners. Oops, I've got to group that. Didn't group that. Group. Now it's one. And that looks a lot better and it's probably a lot safer. After you've done that, you can move on to the next steps and watch these two videos. Creating the USB body and cap, then adding the USB plug and the hole in the cap. This will give you the details on how to split the USB drive into two sections for the body and the cap, then how to add the plug onto the body and the hole in the cap. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.